The Class 3A semifinal game between Heritage Hall and Locust Grove took two weeks to be played. It was worth the wait. It was a one versus two matchup at Sepulpa High School, a matchup fitting of a championship game, yet we got it in the semifinals. Heritage Hall won a shootout 53 to 42, advancing to the Class 3A state championship game to face district rival Cushing. Heritage Hall head coach Andy Bogert on the shootout victory. Oh my gosh, it was exciting. That bird's eye view up there in the box, but it was pretty exciting. I, I didn't know if, if we were ever going to stop them, and they were probably thinking the same thing on their sideline too. I mean, it was an offensive battle. Not a whole lot of defense being played tonight. After Heritage Hall jumped out to an 18-8 lead, Locust Grove would rattle off 14 straight points to take a 22-18 lead into halftime. The Pirates would strike on the second play of the second half to go up 28-18, and the shootout was on. Bogert knew his defense needed to come up big. We just said, you know, let's just go out and we get a couple stops. We're going to be in good shape because I don't think they can stop us. We just got to stop them once or twice. And, and uh, they came out of the second half fired up. I mean, they are a lot more enthusiastic and, and uh, you can just see that little hop in their step. And I know a lot of them retired in half. They just somewhere found something and got it back. Locust Grove quarterback Mason Fine finished with 535 yards and six touchdowns in the loss. The 535 yards are the most passing yards in an Oklahoma high school playoff game, and his final touchdown number for the season is 71. The old record was 54 in a single season, and he's currently sitting on 113 touchdowns, which is a career record for the state of Oklahoma. Fine still has his senior year ahead of him. However, it's Connor McGinnis who is on his way to the state championship game after his 50-yard run in the fourth quarter put Heritage Hall up for good. McGinnis was thrilled to be headed to the state title game. You know, it was a crazy fun game, you know, back and forth. But at the end of the day, it's not about quarterback to quarterback. It's about the team. And, uh, you know, much credit to them. You know, they came out and fought hard, and uh, we did too. And uh, we got on the run at the end, and I think uh, that's what did it for us. Heritage Hall moves on to face Cushing, a team they beat by 20 points back on October 16th. McGinnis knows that this is an improved Cushing team. We'll be focused on a very, very confident team right now. They've been playing some really good football, and uh, we'll just look at the film that they have recently and uh, go from there. Bogert knows that Cushing was turning things around the last time that they played. To me, it's a different football team. They're a pretty darn good football team right now, and, and I think they were just finding themselves when we caught them. And I mean, think we're, we're their last, I think we're probably their last loss. We are, and uh, they've won reeled off seven or eight straight since then. So, yeah, they're, uh, I think they've found what they need to do. So we're going to go try to find out how to stop them. Michael Knight reporting from Sepulpa, Oklahoma, for OKGridiron.tv.